I watched Gundam's Charles Counterattack this Sunday. How was that? Good. Okay, movie. <laughs> okay. It has <laughs> its problems. It has a lot of problems. And uh, oh. I've no, I've like this movie is important because it marks the end of an era for Gundam. It marks the end of the rivalry between Amuro and Char. All right. Mm. And I thought this movie would be amazing and conclusive, and I thought every everyone like talks about it like it's best shit ever. Mm. And I was disappointed because I was like expecting a lot out of it. And I gotta say, like Gundam is really cool, but. Mm. It shares a problem that I've noticed a lot of science fiction suffers through. Which is... Oh, here's a superpower? How does it work? I don't know. <laughs> like, to give an example, outside of Gundam Star Wars. How does the Force not works? In the first one, oh, it's just like a, a mystical energy that... Oh... Oh, like living things, sure. Mm. Yeah, cool. And then you try to expand on it, and then you like, oh, it's the mitochondria. Remember the mitochondria, the powerhouse. <laughs> the, the, yeah. What's the mitochondria, the midochlorians. <laughs> yeah, the midochlorians. Remember that shit? Like, even I, I think George Lucas gave up on that idea after the first movie. After the Phantom Menace, like fuck that shit. And I was no. like, no, mm, middle chlorines, come on, like floating scum. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like every science fiction thing fails to explain how certain things work. In Gundam, is the new type shit. Okay, I'm gonna try to explain. You watch Gundam Origins with me. Remember Char's dad? He shows up like for like two scenes and then he dies. Did he die? He died and like had a heart attack during a speech. Bruh. Gotta remake shit. He... Okay, so he had this idea that all space colonies should be allowed to like reign by itself should have elected its own rulers and do its own you know, politics and all that shit that's what he said because at that point the space con was all ruled by earth the earth federation and the earth federation was a corrupt it's evil it shot like people would do protests got shot that sort of shit it's like you know and his dad, Zion Daikon, had this idea of the people who are the space noids, people who are born in space, will awaken the next level of human evolution where they will use a hundred percent of their brain. The idea is that us humans that are born on Earth only use fifty percent of our brain cells. Mm. Or the capacity of our neurons, only 50%. People who are born in space, because they are born in space, I don't know, like, they have to have a third sense. And what does that mean? Is that you awaken the ability of psychinesis, of, how do you say? Uh, psychoanalysis? No, the psychoanalysis is Freud. <laughs> It's hey. psycho, like when you read minds, psychic. Psych no, no, but you unlock like you lock to to telekine telekinesis. Telepathy. No, telepathy. Huh? 
telepathy, telekinesis, telekinesis is to levitate things. Yeah, you learn telepathy. Telepathy. And telepathy and psychic powers essentially. Mm. And then, and that is it. On the first Gundam, the one reason the seventies, the seventy nine, zero zero seventy nine. Amuro is a new type, right? But what was that like? It was, it was just him being like I can predict my enemy's movement. It was just that. Then you you meet Lala, and Lala is like a new type, but she's super because she like mastered how to control her powers. And at that point, no one had that. So like mind powerful that. That's like Char wanted to use her as a weapon, but he apparently he also saw like as a, a mother figure in her. So there's a lot of ideas that Char groomed Lala, as like actually groomed her, and she was a minor. But uh, I don't think she he did because he saw her as a mom. Maybe he should. Maybe he did. There's a lot of Oedipus complex going on in that movie. Oh. I already fucked it up. There's a lot of like Freud shit in that movie. I wouldn't doubt it. It's Gundam after all. I was thinking of watching Gundam, but then I was like, fuck. I feel like there's a bunch of shit. Ah, uh, we can watch together. But then, anyway. So that is that shit. Okay, let's uh, let's spoiler the shit. Lala dies, all right. The way I don't she... remember who she is. is you, she you, the... She's the brown Indian lady. So the black girl. Yeah. Well, not black. She's Indian. She's black. That's her skin type color. Okay. Anyways, she get she dies pretty hard. She gets between Amuro and and Char, and Amuro just like is like in the heat of the moment. He goes fuck it and just stabs her to death. Bruh. And Amuro has like a mind fuck. Is like, oh man, I killed my, I killed her. What the fuck? <laughs> and they should. And what happened is, he has like a brain fuck moment where he minds. His mind is like in another dimension. Mm. His mind is in another dimension. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Let's to recap what a new type is. Psychic abilities. Tele and tele he's telepathic and he, he can predict movements. He, it makes you into a powerful a soldier. God. Because you like, I can predict where my opponent is and I'm in space. So that means a lot and I'm playing a giant fucking mech. Alright? Mm. Oof. Okay, so now let's let's fuck this up a little bit more. When a new type dies, he ascends <laughs> to another dimension. Yeah. Thank you, Wes. There is another dimension of creatures in space, of like not not creatures in space. Of <laughs> and, Oh god. This is like a real challenge. This is like this is, is a, a challenge for streamers to do. <laughs> Talk about your anime crazy shit and then try to make food. Yeah. It would be easier. Like doing this in real life would be easier. Would it? I don't I think it would be. <laughs> Cuz like uh, the burgers I could just make a bunch. <laughs> Pa, 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 pa. You can put me in McDonald's and stick a camera on me, and I'll be ranting about Gundam while making like 12 Mac, Mac burgers. So, this guy. <laughs> oh, Lala dies, right? <laughs> yeah, that's where I am. Okay, Lala dies, and she ascends to another level. And when, when she does that, she mind fucks both Amuro and Char by being like, hey, you are a good person. Do not feel bad. Also, here's another dimension. 
this this anime is like a clusterfuck to and you're like bro that's really cool i don't that it doesn't make much sense but okay right okay um, when okay so now char everyone in, in zeon kind everyone in zeon and earth knows about the existence of new types mm. so what does zeon does they make weapons that resonate with the brain waves the brain juice of the new type so they can make like they can control telepathically control stuff let's <laughs> let just let's fast forward a little bit let's go to zeta gundam okay we are in zeta which one is which anymore? This is, Zeta Gundam is the sequel to Gundam. Okay. In that game we have Camille. It mm -hmm. sounds like Camomile, the, the T, but it's Camille. Mm -hmm. He's autistic, but that's besides the point. Because all new types act a little bit autistic. Besides Judo. But besides, that's besides the point. What makes Camille so special is because he's like, a, 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 because besides being autistic, he's a new type. And as you may know, autistic people are like genius because like, yeah. like they don't function as we do. So sometimes yeah. it just it just triggers different differently, right? Mm -hmm. They get way more focus. Yeah, so okay. what does Camille do in the first episode of Zeta Gundam? He steals a Gundam, he kills a police officer, he punches a police officer, he he joins a terrorist group, he kills his dad and kills his mom. Man, <laughs> crazy. Anyway, that's besides the point. <laughs> Fuck it, it's crazy. What the Zeta gun introduces is very important, which is cyber new type. Oh my god, it's another new type. It's another new type, but it's cybernetic new type, which means it's cybernetically enhanced. Therefore the internet dangerous. Which means we can just like oh he you it's like we can Which means lane experiment <laughs> serial experiment yeah, yeah essentially because like oh we can just mind fuck these people into developing new new attributes but the thing that does is like if camille who is camille and amuro were both autistic but a little bit different <laughs> it's kind of weird to, to call them autistic, but they were like they act like complete fucking bonkers something uh, You watch Gundam Origins with me. Remember how Camille would just kind of lock himself in his house doing Doing shit with computers Was that Camille? I thought that was Amuro. That was Amuro. No, that was Amuro Th That's what I'm talking about. Amuro now and Who's Camille? Camille is the Zeta Gundam protagonist. You didn't see him yet. Yeah, because I remember Amuro, after he found out his dad made my like, Yeah, yeah. And that's one of the reasons why, like, people say, how does Amuro knows all this shit? Is it just because he's a new type? No, it's because he read the manual back to back. And he was, like, on his dad's office looking at the code for the Gundam. So he knew everything from back to back because Amuro was a genius. Anyway. Yes, was... Anyway, so you yeah. have. You now have Cyber New Type. So you you you, what makes a new type kind of crazy because they're very, they, they don't know how to control their mind. So, it's like an autistic person in the sense that autistic per people can't handle a lot of inputs. They can't handle a lot of inputs and outputs. So, if like a podcast for an autistic people with a lot of people talking can be hell. Because it's just a bunch of voices, and then it can be like... <laughs> <laughs> that lady passing by, <laughs> that was just like autistic I'm out of here. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to the chef, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. what, what was I saying? Okay, so... 
new types are autistic are uh, new types and autistic people are kind of the same that's what i'm saying i think mm -hmm. they can't handle a lot of output so they get very pushy when you make a cyber new type you're essentially injecting a shit ton of drugs into someone's brain so they can develop kind of similar powers but it's very it's very Fuck. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's not what I meant, but okay. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna get to my point soon. I think. I think I'm gonna get to my point. Where was I? Oh yeah, cyber new types are fucked. Mm -hmm. So now... What does... Okay, so now what does the Titans, who are the villains of the of Zeta Gundam, they are like a terrorist group. They're not a terrorist group, but yeah, I'm just gonna say they're terrorists for the sake of argument. What do they do? They create the cyber, the Psycho Gundam. The Psycho Gundam reacts to the brain waves of a new type of, or of a cyber new type. <laughs> Which implies that new types can are have tele telekinesis to a certain extent, but it's just implied. Okay. Just okay. implied that they, they have telekinesis. But fuck that, okay? Whatever. Cool. Let's flash for a little bit a little bit to the end of Zeta Gundam. You can influence the people's feelings as a new type. How? I don't know. Look, what I got from all of this is that new type just, just, you're god, basically. But that is all besides the point. Because everything is kind of making sense. Like, you are a new type. Okay, so what's the power of a new type? You can, you are, you are psychic in, in every single way. You have, you are telepathic. You have better senses, you can feel the emotions of people from all sorts of directions, so you can see where people is coming from. So in a, in a, a mobile suit battle, you just know where they are. Oh fuck, why did I do this? <laughs> Though, that's the power of the, of the power of new types, essentially of real new types are. They're psychic, they have better senses, they can feel people's emotions. They can't read mind, they just feel your emotion. So they know when you are scared, angry, or something like that. They have that third sense, you know, the third eye. Mm -hmm. They are... I want to from Dragon Ball. Yeah, they are very... So they have, because of that better sense, they are better with technology and all that shit because they can get a better grasp of everything. And that's very cool. This is the reason why I feel like watching Gundam because I just sometimes I just can't keep going. No, just, just shut up. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, let's talk about the shit that happens in 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 Zeta Gundam, okay? Because the first Gundam is very simple. You got space Nazis and you got Earth. They fight. Why are the space Nazis fighting the Earth? Why, why are they Nazis? Well, they weren't, but they decided to be. They were just want independence. Oh. Earth, Earth didn't want to give independence, so they, they, you know, they fight. If they didn't fight, there wouldn't be anime. No anime, no, yeah. no, no fight. And in the second one, Zeta Gun is a bit confusing at first. I was like, what the fuck's going on? But it's actually pretty simple. After Zeon gets destroyed. Fuck it, enjoy your fucking bacon. After Zeon gets destroyed, what happens? 
did Zion just poof? No, people were still very firm to the cause, like they want the independence. So they become like small terrorist groups. One even got close to dropping a space colony who watched Stardust Memory, which is very good. They got very close to dropping a, a space colony into Earth again. And, but that's besides the point, like, so to contain these, you know, proxies, Zeon proxies, to contain them, what does the Earth Federation do? The Earth Federation makes the Titans. What are the Titans? The Titans are a, a independent army that are allowed to do whatever the fuck they want. As long as they kill Zeon remnants. So what do the Titans do instead? They do whatever the fuck they want. No one can stop them because they're the biggest army in the planet. What does... What happens next is Char Aznabu. He's like, he doesn't want to be known as Char anymore. So he puts a glass on and calls himself Quatro Vagina. Make the sandwich. <laughs> Shut up. I'm doing it. Okay, so what does what happens now? You have a, this terrorist organization destroying space colonies. Well, you have a retaliation. What happens is you have an organization called the AUG, and I don't know what it means. A you got? A you got problems? A U G A U G. Yeah. <laughs> what happens next is. The AUG is led by by Wright Noah, which is the guy who piloted the, 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 the ship in the first Gundam. The, and and Char. They're kinda of, but no one knows that Char is Char, okay? Okay. Until one episode when Char goes to Earth. And he he goes as a politician and he and he goes like you, everyone should stop polluting Earth. It's bad, and everyone should go start living in space. And everyone should give like independence to space, so we can prosperity in space. So we can start exploring space and start making colonies and better colonies and colonize the whole galaxy and whatever. So yeah. after that, Char kind of disappears a little bit because he's doing politics shit. That's what's implied. And he's like, but he's very like, we should keep, we should like, protect Earth. We shouldn't pollute Earth. We should stop polluting Earth, and we should leave the Earth alone and start exploring space. Leave, leave the space colonies so each one do its thing. Let's move on. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, by the end of it, in Zeta Gundam, the AUG gets a small fleet and they're gonna fight the Titans head on. Everyone dies, Nam and Camille gets brain fucked by a cyber new type. That's where like new type powers start like getting very crazy because what happened is the guy, I forgot his name, he just went into Camille's brain as he was dying and he was like Camille you killed me and now I'll fuck you up inside of your soul and he just like and Camille gets like PTSD hardcore PTSD 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 <laughs> PDD he just gets fucked PD and then then and then again let's repeat you have Space Nazis won, like, the space people wanting independence, they didn't get so they became space Nazis because that's the way to do it. They get beat the fuck up, but they didn't get beat the fuck up entirely, they're still like neo-Nazis, you know, whatever. The neo Zeon is the same shit. Uh, until now, neo-types didn't really, couldn't really influence you much. Like, the new types in Gundam, they, they in the in Gundam 1, <laughs> let's just call it that, I don't want to say the whole shit. 
they were just kind of like oh, they were just kind of powerful ending and they didn't they couldn't control you they couldn't change your heart couldn't influence you they couldn't awaken hidden powers on you even though it's applied that Am amuro did that now we go to the anime that everyone says skip it's bad and i went with a very low expect expectative and i loved it expectation expectation <laughs> and i absolutely love that movie that anime it starts really bad i give him that but it gets so much hate and it becomes so good oh, fuck. <laughs> that anime is like okay that anime starts really bad because tomino he does this thing when he, he makes a very shit ending for an anime then he kind of regrets it so he makes like the sequel or he makes another anime where it's happier okay. it's, it's really odd but that's what he does is that's okay when i understood that i kind of accepted that anime more even but it's it's really goofy and he, it's like the first like 10 or 10 or 15 episodes you're like what the fuck's going on and then it goes back into the the seriousness of gundam but that anime expands on something else which is new types are super saiyans now <laughs> mm -hmm. are you following <laughs> how there is no con there's n there's a little bit how like nothing makes sense <laughs> in the new in the new type shit you thought i was following all of that <laughs> I didn't because I'm having trouble. I stopped when you went on Cyber New Type. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, like, so let's recap. <laughs> God. Let's recap the, the new types. New Type, the next step of human evolution. Got it? Okay. Their powers. God damn it. Psychic? <laughs> They are have like spider sense from Spider Man. They can they can they become Spider Man. They can feel what other people are feeling, and they are very good with technology because of their third eye power shit. And when they die, they don't really die, but they're so ascended to the next level. It's some Alex Jones shit. It might be some Buddhist shit. Maybe it makes sense for the Japanese. Judo is a new type. But he's less autistic. He's just insane. He's like a brute. He's like Jotaro. And he... But he gets angry. And anger is an emotion that new types haven't shown yet. Wow. Sounds like Star Wars. So when he gets angry, he's so manifest and it fights. But now you're, we go like crazy. <laughs> okay, because like at the end of the anime, the Gundam is like all fucked up. So Judo gets so pissed because he's gonna die. The Gundam decides to like his energy, his brain juice manifest into the Gundam and the Gundam just go bleep, bloop, bloop, and rebuilds itself because Amuro, Amuro not Amuro uh, Camille, no, not Camille, Judo fuck, <laughs> too many characters wished for that so hard and then he goes home and he fucks Ru anyways Haman dies. Haman is important because Haman wanted to recreate uh, the Zabi family, and he she wanted the Zabi family 
it's the guys who created Xeon and they were the, the first Nazi in space the, the, you, Giren Zabi said I'm Hitler I, like I know like if someone uh, there's like a, a small portion of the Gundam community who who you know they have spicy opinions and they will say but the Xeon are not Nazi I know they are not But you know, Giren is a Nazi. Giren was like, hey, I'm gonna be the next Hitler. And then his dad was like, he lost. <laughs> By the way, he's like, I, I'm gonna wait, fuck it. Spoiler alert, bitch. <laughs> Spoiler alert, he lost. And then he's like, nah, forget about it, I will win. Yeah, I'll pretend that didn't happen. Whatever happens, happens. Like, he, he lose. He lost. Anyways. He lost, but I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. So Haman is like, I wanna... She didn't share this to recreate the the, the, Za, the Zabi family, but all she wanted was like, manipulate everyone. It doesn't matter. And let me say... Only the new type stuff that I talked about matters. Everything that happened in Zeta Gundam... And Z double Zeta Gundam, which is the one with Judo, which I didn't say the title. It doesn't matter. I just waste saliva. <laughs> so you said all this shit? I said all this shit for nothing. Oh, mm. Bitch, why did you make a cult of this? <laughs> hey, it's not my fault. And I didn't realize this until like much later when I was watching Charles Counter that the nothing that happened in Zeta Gundam. Like Kamil is one of the anime protagonists that probably suffered the most because he started watching all his friends die in front of him. And he's like supposed to be like a super warrior. But he's just trash. <laughs> Even with his brain powers, he's trash. <laughs> Because he can't stop his friends from dying. He's trying his best. And he gets PTSD by the end of it. And it doesn't matter. Okay, let's talk about Charles Counter. Let's talk about Charles Counter Attack now. Just missed a bunch of people. Alright, let's talk let's talk about Garth Charles Attack. Garfield, what? Garfield's a counterattack. Okay, so what happens in Char's counterattack? Char comes back. That's the name of the game. <laughs> and Amuro comes back too. He was just like he he made a living out of making toys. The guy became a millionaire, but he still wanna fight. What does what what happens in Charles Counter? Like, let me tell you a bunch of shit. <laughs> that movie feels like the rise of Skywalker, and it's a shame that I say this. Oh, I fucked up. Ah, never mind. We all fucked up. It's a shame that I compared that movie to Rise of Skywalker, but it feels like it. Sometimes it's a better movie than Rise of Skywalker, but it sure feels like Rise of Skywalker. And again, people would like kill me for say that. And I'm gonna post on YouTube and I hope like when I share it on Twitter, people just watch this shit. Cause it's like, I mean, how many people I'm like 20 minutes talking about? I'm gonna edit the whole fucking shit. It's gonna be insane. <laughs> and this me crying. <laughs> it's a shame. And you know what's annoying? People are like, oh. Charles Counterattack is fucking amazing, mate. It's fucking amazing, mate. <laughs> and like, doubles at again. Oh, that's trash. That's stinky. <laughs> that's what I'm cleaning. <laughs> it's stinky poo. I'm like, mm, okay. I went to Zeta Gundam, double Zeta Gundam, ZZ Gundam, thinking that's this is trash. Like, when I went to the first Gundam, I expected what? Old anime. I didn't expect much, actually. 
when I went to the sequel, Zeta Gundam, I expected like it's gonna be Gundam, but make that bird. I, mean, I expected Gundam when I went to Zeta Gun. I expected like oh, it's oh, Gundam, man. but Gundam Two. My okay. controller, man, it's not working. Okay. I expect like Gundam Two in the sequel. When I went to Double Zeta Gundam, and now I had an expectation. My expectation was this is gonna suck. And at the first time, at first like when I watched, I was like, "Oh, this this does suck." And then it got good, and I was like, "This is amazing." Why did no one? Why did no one? Mm. You know what? Look at that e. <laughs> e. <laughs> okay. When I went to doubles at the gun, everyone was like, "This is gonna be trash." You, you know, it's trash. You don't watch it. Skip it. But I didn't. Struggle through it. And I loved it. No one told me. No one said to me that this anime would be amazing. By like ten episodes in, it's no one. No one mentioned. No one mentioned that Rue was a character. No one mentioned Haman was amazing. No one mentioned the designs were awesome. The character designs on that show is amazing. No one mentioned there was Allahu Akbar. There is. There's a Muslim player prayer on that anime. It can't be bad. <laughs> Allah is blessing it. What happens in Charles Counter Attacks that I go with a really high expectation? And then anime, it starts like boom! War. First thing that happens in anime, there's an asteroid coming to Earth. Who's dropping it? Char. Why? Because he wants to put Earth in a freeze state. Why is he doing that? Didn't he care about the. Did he care about like the, the the nature? No. Why? Oh, cause he he played politics for so long that now he hates it. So he's just gonna nuke it. Mm, enjoyed that pickle. You get it? It's like it. What's the motivation of the villain of the show? He was, he was very intrinsic, like we want to get everyone out of Earth because Earth is limiting us. But, and now it's like, I'm just gonna nuke the Earth. But he like, he's, he wanted people to leave Earth alone and not destroy it. Because Earth is our ancestral home. So no one wants to see it destroyed, right? But, so it, it killed kind of, it kind of killed Char a little bit because Char now is a is a crazy psychopath and before it was just a sociopath he was a very manipulative person but he didn't want to see earth destroyed and shit like that Amuro, Amuro is okay, Amuro didn't change it's like one of the things that didn't change about the anime was Amuro. Amuro was... He was just more mature, he was fucking. That boy was fucking. Uh. And... Oh, that, that anime has some characters that I'm telling you. There's a girl in that anime. She's just retarded. And the base retarded what are you talking about? <laughs> no, but this one, this one, here's what she does. Okay, so Amuro, Amuro is like set to kill, right? He's like he's not a boy anymore. He, he's a man. He, got, a man, he, man. he was 15 in the original gun, he's a 25-year-old man now. <laughs> or something like that. He's a man. man. So he so he sees Char. Does he wanna talk to Char? He wanna he wanna kill Char. What does this girl do? She slaps the gun out of the of Amuro's hand. And it's like okay. And she, the, later on she just fucking dies, so that's good. Anyways. What one do you wanna know what happens at the end of that movie? So I can finish this. Sure. Um, Char has this brilliant idea. Okay, no. 
First of all, the Earth Federation, they don't want war. War costs money and they can't afford like making shit ton of mechs anymore to go to war. What does the Earth Federation then propose? So like Char wants to like get independence. Did they give you Char independence? They do. Oh and, fuck. And then what does But like he wants one more thing. Char wants one more thing. A giant fucking asteroid. <laughs> That's all he wants. Char just dropped, like the five the first five minutes of the movie is Char dropping an asteroid into Earth. What does the Earth Federation do? Give him an, another asteroid and say please don't drop it. What does what does Char do immediately after? I'm gonna drop this asteroid there. I'm gonna fucking drop it on Earth. So that's dumb. That's ridiculous. That's bad writing. You know? It's, it's, it's just stupid. I don't know what they were thinking. Yeah, why, why were you thinking? That happens. That's like... That's like... Star Wars did something like that. I don't remember what the fuck, but they did. Star Wars was like... It did something like that. <laughs> But anyways, Char is gonna drop an asteroid on Earth. Everyone fights, people die, whatever. And uh, Char loses, like Char and Amuro fights. They duke it out like men. What does? What happens? Char loses the fight. And he's like, I gotta, no, I gotta eject, get the fuck out of my mech. And he, so his cockpit go whoop. And Amuro, Am Amuro catches like a baseball, and he slams it into the, into the sh into the asteroid. And then Charles like, what the fuck are you gonna do? Amuro is like, I'm just gonna push the shit out of this asteroid. And hope my Gundam, my tiny Gundam, because this asteroid is like the size of Earth, or like the size of a continent. And he's like, I'm gonna hope my tiny robot can just like kind of like wing it, like change the course of it a little bit to the left so it doesn't hit Earth. And Char and Amuro starts having like this amazing debate while he tried to push the asteroid when he tries to push the asteroid back like oh why are you doing this you know that the usual monologue you're having this monologue right oh why are you doing this char oh because have you not noticed how stupid these people are and we need to leave earth alone oh how why you, so you're gonna protect earth by destroying it Char says yes. <laughs> uh, okay. So Amuro, Amuro is like special because he's like the new type, right? He starts getting so focused in getting this this asteroid out of the way that his brain power starts acting up his brain power is so powerful that... <laughs> it's making me exhausted okay now i'm ending this his brain power is so powerful that everyone around it starts pushing the asteroid back Be <laughs> because they can feel the brain juice of Amuro is so powerful that they're like, I want, I want in. <laughs> but like, okay, so Amuro was like, I'm gonna push this asteroid. 
and everyone is like, I'm gonna push it. I'm gonna also push it. But then Amor was like, stop pushing the asteroid. I wanna do it. <laughs> Get the fuck away. So everyone says, okay, and they leave. Amuro's brain power is so strong that it was not the Gundam that pushed it out of of like orbit. It was his brain. And that is like the point that I want to make. It has been like 30 minutes now. 30-40 minutes. The new type shit in Gundam is a mistake. Because it is just cheap. And I had to keep hearing it all this time. <laughs> it's just dumb, cheap bullshit that Tommy no make because he's going to weed or something and I'm stopping the stream here. Like none of us said this all rent made sense. <laughs> You're gonna have to see when you edit these. <laughs> 